Hey I'm Max and welcome to my RPG game devlog. In this video I will be updating my game to Unreal Engine 5 and creating the map, implementing Lumen lighting system and optimizing my game to allow 60fps even on low end PCs. The first step was to install Unreal Engine 5 on my computer and then upgrade my project from Unreal Engine 4 to 5. I then had to learn the new interface but it's pretty similar so it was mostly good. Thankfully, I didn't need to fix many things because there wasn't many changes to old features in Unreal Engine 5, it's mostly just new features so nothing old broke. The only problem I had was that I noticed my frame rate dropped a lot, from 100 to 120 down to 50-60. I checked the profile to see what could be causing it and I found a few new features that I didn't need so I disabled them and that helped a lot. I also noticed that the way I set up my mesh display on my UI, it was capturing the character and updating it every frame on my UI, however I only need to capture it and update it every time I change armor because the rest of the time the image is still, the player doesn't move on the UI. So I changed it from every tick to only when I change armor and that alone reduced my frame time by 8 milliseconds which caused an increase of about 50 fps, so that's massive. The last thing that was slowing down my game was the temporal super resolution setting which is a new thing in Unreal Engine 5 but it doesn't seem to be very useful for my game because it's low resolution. However when I disabled it my FPS increased as expected but the objects moving on the screen left a sort of motion blur. Obviously I didn't want this and I didn't know why turning it off caused it because in Unreal Engine 4 there was no such setting and there was no blur. So it's very weird, but for now I just turned it back on because my FPS were fine even with it. Even with the super resolution on, I managed to turn my about 18 seconds render time, which is about 55 FPS, into the cap of 8 millisecond render time, which is 120 FPS, even while recording. Now that the game is running smooth, it's time to get started on the map. I didn't have a plan for the map but I thought starting from a real hurt location like downloaded would be a good inspiration at least to get started so I downloaded a zone of the earth using a website and tried to import it into Unreal but I somehow messed that up. Anyway I gave up on that and decided to just build my map from scratch so I could give it a more fantasy look. I decided to make it 4 km squared big, with that my FPS dropped to about 75 but that's still pretty good. Then I enabled the new Unreal Engine 5 feature called World Partition that allows me to control which part of the map to load and unload and at which distance objects are loaded. This is going to help a lot when I have a bunch of villages and objects in the world that I don't want to be loaded from far away so it can increase the FPS. Then I was ready to start sculpting the landscape I made a plane with a few bumps and mountains on the side to limit where the player can go. Obviously it's always better to have things like mountains instead of just like a invisible wall or something that the player just can't see. Here's what it looked like after about 10 minutes, of course I will add some details later and smooth things out. Then I imported a grass mega scan to use as a texture instead of my old grass. It looks really good from close up but you can see pretty well the tiling when you go far away. If I made the texture bigger from far it would look great but when on the ground it looks terrible. So I mixed them up, I made the texture get bigger as you go farther away and that made it pretty smooth. Next I imported a rock texture and made an auto landscape material that uses the grass texture except when there's too much of an incline then it puts some rock and that looked really good. Another cool thing about using an auto material is that I don't have to paint myself where the grass is and where the rocks are, I can just sculpt and it does it by itself. Next I added some grass meshes on the ground to make it more 3D and some trees from the marketplace to make the land less empty. However, that made me start to lag a little bit. I checked to find why I was lagging and I found that it was mostly the leaves and the lighting. I reduced the quality of the trees far away and added some new lighting system called Lumen to my project. Lumen allows you to have global illumination of your world with shadows and reflections, 
with a sort of ray tracing technology but at a cost much lower than traditional ray tracing and without needing an RTX card. At first it made my FPS drop but when I set up the settings right and removed the old lighting stuff it actually ran faster and even looked better. I was also able to disable the super resolution setting that I talked about at the start without getting too much of a blur effect. I'm still not sure why I'm getting any at all but for now it's not too bad. Anyway, my FPS are back at around 80. Finally, I added a day-night cycle using Lumen and I added some villages things like houses, uh, hens, blacksmiths and things like that that I downloaded from Quaternus, a person who gives away free models and the same one that I got my animal models from. I also changed the grass and the flower meshes that I was using because I thought they didn't fit well with the trees, so instead I used the ones from the same pack as the trees so they fit perfectly together. The old grass and flowers were much more realistic, but my game isn't really a realistic style, it's more of a cartoonish style. In my opinion, the end result looks amazing. The grass, trees, houses, mountains with the sun moving and the sky changing color, all that it's looking really good and it still runs at 60 fps while recording. It's crazy to see how far the game rendering has come. This looks amazing even with my medium settings because of my medium graphics card. With a better card you can improve the quality of the light and shadows a lot more. Not too long ago this type of quality was unreal and now it's literally real and you can do it by yourself. It's, it's amazing. I will need to add settings to my game later so players can choose what quality they want with the light and the shadows and the textures and everything. So right now what you see is from my PC which is relatively low graphics card so it's like medium settings so it can get even better than that. Anyway that's all for now, thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more in the future.